Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about Clear and Brilliant. Um, so it's a preventative fractional laser, um, and it's really to prevent the signs of aging. So it's like, I'm 32. Um, it's like a perfect time, or even earlier, to start doing a fractal laser. There are two different like styles of it. There's like the regular Clear and Brilliant, and then there's the Permea. And the Permea goes after like skin tone and like redness. So as you can tell, my skin is like a really, it's just like very clear right now. It has fully cleared up. Maybe not fully, like there's a little bit of stuff left, but it's looking incredibly better. My skin right now is completely bare out of the shower. And you can see like it makes your pores look so much smaller. And like it's supposed to attack like fine lines and wrinkles, anything like that. And it's just like, it gives you a really nice glow. I love the results. It's so, so, so nice. So next up, I'm gonna show you like a photo and video journey of the past like couple of months of my life. So you can see how my skin has transformed and changed. Um, some of the photos are like, Mm, like gross up close ones, but I think that is what makes this whole thing very real and doesn't seem like what's the difference. So enjoy all of the embarrassing selfies and videos and weird stuff I'm saying. So um, thanks so much for watching. Um, I wanted to see how the treatment went and like how my results really were after two weeks to provide a review. So this is on the Clear and Brilliant. It's a Fraxel Laser Facial and I loved it. I'm going to show you like some photos of the before, during or like directly after and now how my skin looks now, which is like I was dealing with a lot of like stress acne on my forehead, just like small bumps. I don't know if it's really called acne, but it's just like gross and it's like really gone away. So I'm feeling awesome about it. I feel like my pores look a little bit smaller and more refined. Right now I have nothing on my skin aside from a vitamin C serum from Eminence. And I love it. I love the results. I would totally do this again. I am doing this again. Um, I went to Charismatic Day Spa in Bayport, New York for it, and I will be going back in a couple weeks for another Clear and Brilliant facial. So amazing there, Cara is top notch. So I just wanted to just kind of show you my skin. about to get a clear and brilliant facial. This is the second one I'm getting. So we'll see how it goes. This is directly after treatment number two. So my skin is red. Feels a little burned, but like, fine. 
And this treatment was to go after hyperpigmentation, pore size. We'll see, I'll keep you guys posted. During this process, I did have like sort of a weird skin purge. Um, and that was about three weeks ago where all of this like acne that I was talking about, like it was going away and getting better with the Clear and Brilliant, but it, like sort of was coming back um, until this skin purge really happened. And I felt like my entire forehead was like so red and I had like 50 pimples on it. Like I'm saying 50, but it was probably more like 35 to 40, but I'm like being honest about that number. Um, it was crazy. I had never felt or seen anything like this on my own personal skin before. My own personal skin as if it's anyone else's. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> So this is after my third facial. Coming into a room with better lighting so you can kind of see like how my skin looks. After my third clear and brilliant facial, some red. That's like how it always looks, but it's like that for like a day. And then your skin just gets amazing. have been, gotten three clear and brilliant facials. The first one was like the regular clear and brilliant, the second was the Primea, and the one that I just got was the clear and brilliant again. It does like hurt. There's a numbing cream that you can put um, on your skin or like your facialist will put on the skin, um, but it's, you know, you're getting a laser on your skin and it's going over the same spots for three passes. So, the day of your treatment and like for 24 hours your skin can be a little red it feels like or looks like a sunburn um, but then that goes away super easy so you're pretty much like right back there's really no downtime at all and i mean the results are pretty much instant and they can like continue to get better and better over the next two weeks so it's like amazing i have changed my skincare routine a little bit through this process too. I've really like slowed down on a lot of products that I was using. Um, so I'll share a little bit about the things that I've been doing and using as well next. One thing that's really nice is like during this time and like during 2020 in general, like I've been wearing much less makeup than ever. So I pretty much go bare faced every day and bare faced right now. Um, something that I've been using um, and I got from Charismatic is this Eminence Rosehip Triple C and E Firming Oil. But I'm putting this all over my face multiple times a day. Like I am halfway done with this product and I usually, it takes me forever to finish products. Um, but I'm like, crushing through this one, which means I like it a lot and it's so good. So shout out to Eminence. Um, like once you get a laser facial like that, your skin is super dry. Right after you get it, it almost feels like to touch, um, like it's like peeling. It almost feels like sandpaper, sort of interesting, but it doesn't look like anything like that. So you're not gonna have like weird sandpaper skin. Um, it just feels like sandpaper skin. Um, so I'm putting this on like so many times a day and drinking so much more water than I ever was and that has helped as well. I would not recommend using these products like with each other and Kara just told me like definitely don't use that like right after the laser. Wait at least two weeks to use it. Um, so I'm doing that. But this is what I used. P50. Biologique Recherche is, I, think, I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably. Lotion P50 1970. It is the holy grail for clearing skin. It basically um, 
it's an exfoliator, but somehow it dries your skin as well as like purifies it, like tones it, like also somehow like keeps it moisturized. I have no idea how it works. It's a French brand and it's like everywhere and it's amazing, but it's the best. It's super expensive, but it is worth it. I put it on a little like gauze pad at night. I use it every other night for two weeks straight. So it was like two weeks, the two weeks between, like I got these facials four weeks apart. So I did it after two weeks after getting my Clear and Brilliant Permea facial. I started it every other night and I did it for about a week and a half probably. So I probably used it like six or seven times. It changed my skin. It's like my skin was awful and now it's like looking so much better. I'm obsessed. So I would use this at night and then I would put on like a little serum. So I was either using this like naturopathica ginger clarifying concentrate on like my chin and forehead and or using Glossier Super Pure, which is like niacinamide and zinc. It's great. I use them both, like nothing crazy. And then I put um, some moisturizer on top. I used mostly this Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. I like using it as a night cream. It's like really super luxe and rich. It's sort of like similar to the La Mer cream. So I loved it. It really worked. My skin feels super soft and supple and like it cleared this acne. I would use this in the morning and then I mostly would leave my face clean. Um, if I did put on makeup and like I would only wash my face once a day, I would, I always use this Milky Jelly Cleanser from Glossier because I think it's like really great. It gets off like your eye makeup. Um, and it doesn't hurt, it's like a conditioner, it's really great. I also use both of these Naturopathica cleansers as well um, throughout my process. This like aloe cleansing gel is really nice. I use this when like I wanna wash my face after I've gotten a clear and brilliant facial and I don't want like anything that's like rough or like exfoliating. This is a really nice like hydrate and protect great little gel cleanser. I love that as well as the Milky Jelly. And then the Oat Cleansing Facial Polish. Um, I've been using this. It's like much more used um, during like when these pimples on my forehead were like happening. It's just like another like step of an exfoliator. I don't want to like recommend so many different like exfoliating products because I feel like that's overkill and you don't want to like irritate your skin worse or like make it worse. But I'm just sharing a lot of the things that I've used because I think that those products in addition with like changing the way I'm eating, like eating cleaner, drinking more water, trying to not be stressed, which is like super fucking hard, but working on that too. Um, and yeah, I just think that those laser facials that I've gotten have been game changers. And I highly recommend getting them. Go see Cara or any of the wonderful people at Charismatic Day Spa in Bayport. They're so incredible. Um, everything is super safe there. Um, wear masks, take your temperature upon arrival. Um, there's like a waiver you have to fill out, whatever. Um, but it's been a really, like, I mean, in my opinion, an incredible journey of my, how my skin has looked. I think I have some before shots and like the whole journey throughout this. So I'll show you all of those and more, you maybe already have seen them. I don't know how I'm gonna do this video. And yeah ask me any questions about the spa in general, or I'll just like direct you right to the spa to ask questions um, about Clear and Brilliant or Hydrofacial. They're both so, so, so good. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little TED talk about skin. Thank you.